I've been accused of jumping around to too many different projects. And yes, I'm guilty of that. I probably should just stick to one project at a time, especially when I have other projects on my workbench behind me that still need to get done. But today I'm going to be showing you guys some steps that I'm taking on some of these blue lithium iron phosphate batteries. So here we go. These are some lithium iron phosphate cells. Now each one is an individual cell and we have 45 cells sitting up here. These came out of a car that was converted maybe eight or nine years ago to electric. Uh, now it wasn't working anymore and I took these out and now we are trying to refurbish them. Now the cells were all very low in voltage. This particular one that I'm going to be testing in this video came out of the car at 0.11 volts. Now very slowly over the past month I have had these on just a tenth of an amp, 0.1 amp of a charge. I've got them all up charged to about 80%. Alright, let's bring you in close to see the arrangement. These eight cells are arranged in series for a 24 volt pack. So this is the main negative and main positive of this 24 volt pack. We're feeding into the iCharger X8, meaning 8S. Now currently we are pulling electricity from this pack and going through here and this guy is now charging this one cell. Anytime you're charging a lithium battery you want to use a CCCV charger. CCCV. This stands for constant current, constant voltage. The I charger was originally set to 30 amps and it charged at a constant 30 amps until it reached 3.6 volts. As soon as it reached the voltage it wanted, then it held the voltage constant and lowered the amps. Now this will continue down. I think it stops at one amp, but I'm not sure because this eye charger is brand new to me and I've got to continue to test it. I used an 8S connector and so the other ends are just not connected to anything. Only the first two are connected to this one cell at the moment, but that gives me an accurate reading of the cell voltage because right now it's at a higher voltage going through the charging leads. So at this port, it's reading a higher voltage than what it reads on the balance leads. I am just about finished topping off this one cell. So this is not a video on how to program this eye charger. But it is a tool and I'm learning the features. It's brand new to me. I just picked it up. So once this eye charger automatically shuts off at 3.6 volts, we're going to start the discharge test and it's going to discharge back into this pack. When it does that, we'll be able to find out exactly what the capacity of these cells are. Now I don't know exactly how long the discharge capacity test is going to take, but this is one of the many projects that I have in the garage that just kind of take up a lot of space well, the eye charger has shut itself off. Oh, and look, it actually says done up in the corner. Ha, that's funny. Now I need to change this into discharge mode, but I need to do it in regenerative discharge. So I'm going to follow the instructions that uh, Lithium Solar actually put out in one of his videos. So I'll leave a link in the description below to Lithium Solar video. He does a nice overview of this charger. but I've been at this for about an hour and I finally found this submenu for regenerative mode. So let's go ahead and try to change this. Is that it? Off or to input? Okay. Now finally regenerates. Okay, geez, that took forever. Okay, now we can plug these in. I just plugged these wires in, so now let's go ahead and try to start this. Nice, it brought it up to 30 amps. Great. 
Over here on this side, it shouldn't be much. Yeah, 2.7 over here. Great, so this is gonna show us the amp hours right there of the battery. All right, well, I'll catch back with you later after this is finished. All right, we're still discharging and this is part way through. You can see we've been running for three hours now and we've discharged 89 amp hours and we're not done yet, so still going. Well, at this point we've been running for four hours and 19 minutes and the battery voltage is getting down there, 3.164. We're still rolling at 130 amp hours. This has just finished discharging and the numbers look great. We have 100, oh, reflection there, 170 amp hours, which means this is one big battery bank. Wow. Awesome. And that was out of this, the weakest cell, which started at 0.11 volts. So I'm probably going to do more testing. Uh, just want to make sure that the numbers are staying consistent and then we'll do a full charge on all of these. After a full charge, I then am going to let them sit for a couple of weeks and see what kind of self-discharging we might have amongst them. But still more testing, but yeah, man, I'm really happy with that. Great. We got 170 amp hours out of this cell. Now, I think these were originally 180 amp hours, so being 170 on our test is actually really good. I'm surprised it was that high. I will continue testing more of these cells. I have a second one hooked up and ready to go, but they do take a long time. So it's going to be a while before I can do another update video on how these cells are doing. But the first capacity test actually shows us that there's a lot of potential left in these. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoy the videos, please like, subscribe, comment, and share.